You have the new user interface uh, as a black background, which uh, gives things more contrast, really makes your photos pop. And all the menu items are here on the left. Now you see photos, and what's grayed out is process, edit, and maps. I realize you can't see that at this point, but they're going to become active as we go. So we brought our photos in, so we click on photos. And let's select the one we want, which is right here. And when we do select this, both, both process and edit have become active. So let's go to process. Now you can see we have a Vita Classic Shade tab, a C3. And under process here, it says shade guides. And to get all the shade guides and make sure you have the correct one, you click here and they all open up. And you can choose any one that you want, but for us, the Vita Classic makes sense. And we have the original photo, the corrected, and then the region off and on, and our uh, value box, the information for our value box is going to go into here, uh, especially for the 3D Master, which is 0 through 5 for the value group. So that'll appear here. Then to process the case, we change the name uh, from one click to process photo. It's right here. Okay. So we just click on that. And the cursor changes into the red box. You click on the shade tab. Tell the program what it is. It's a C3. Then before we used to click on color correct as the next step. Now color correct is right here. It says color correct. But there's a more efficient, faster way to do things now. So all you need to do is right click and color correct. Okay, so the region comes up. Put it where you want it. You want it to be just a little bit larger than the tooth itself or the teeth that you're analyzing. And here's the value box. And you want it about uh, so big and leave that in the middle. Then to get the maps, you put the cursor inside of the region, you right click and crop region. Now as you do this, the menu for maps has become active. So let's click on that. Under maps, we have all shades, four or three, and I recommend you put it on four and leave it. And what you do is you would go ahead and click on the different colors and now you have all the shades. So that's the process of bringing the photo in, which we've done before, and we process the photo.